Greetings, I'm Chappers. And I'm the captain. And welcome once again to England. England? The home of the Queen, the King. Home of the Queen, the King, the and Princes, Fox the Princesses. And the And all the other royal people. All of whom, of course, live in Guildford. Yes. Next to Lee, their neighbours. Absolutely. And every morning, Lee brings them breakfast in bed just to make sure that they're okay. Absolutely. Yes. God save the Queen. Good. She loves a bit of marmalade on her toast in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's not traverse that route. <laughs> can you still be beheaded for treason in this country? Oh, probably, you probably can they'd be. probably make an exception so in your I, case. I can only apologise. Bango's my knighthood. You would be cleft um, in twain. Uh, that's the audio from Vox. And this Vox. Is new. You might be forgiven for thinking it's your mum's favourite cushion from a couch because it's all like tartany and sort of uh, cushiony. And you want to also squidge it, but you can't. It's, it's hard. Squidgy. It's mm. not squidgy. I wish it was. Like a false booby. <laughs> um, so, now, up until today, uh, which is May the something in 2017, my personal opinion is that the king of little home use amplifiers is the Yamaha THR10. I would agree. I own one. So do I. Just putting it out there. It's very, very good. But it's been around for a long time. And to be fair, it has seen off one or two challenges. Hmm. But I suspect, possibly, maybe possibly, this is likely to be the first amp to come out that is actually going to change that. However, the Vox Adio, in my opinion, it's only my opinion, um, maybe it'll be yours too by the end of this video, is the first little amp that's come out that's kind of, I'm sitting going, hmm, got a few features on it that I wish the Yamaha had. It's like new player up, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of the right sort of size for me, for my office. It's the same concept of this sort of two little speakers with heavy, heavy stereo imaging. Um, so what we're going to try and find out during this video is, is it the kind of thing that I might go, mm, time for the old THR10 to go, or am I keeping the THR10? Right, based upon our experience of owning and using them. Hmm. That's right. Hmm. Kapow! So, let's give you the quick um, rundown. First and foremost, it has a, a, an RMS output of 50 watts. Okay. Now, I've got to be honest with you. That's like 15 watts. It's like 50 bullshit watts, personally, <laughs> because it, it, may well, it may well do that, but when you have an amplifier with two little speakers in it like this uh, and designed for home use, it's not a gigging amplifier. No, not even slightly. It's, ju it's just a, a fairly pokey home use amplifier. So, although 50 watts does make it loud, it is louder than the Yamaha if you need volume. I've right. never really felt with the Yamaha that a problem is that it's not loud enough because no. I only use it for sort of really low volume playing at home. So, it's louder, but who cares? It has 23 different amp models in it, which I think if you compare that to the Yamaha, the Yamaha has maybe, is it six or eight? It's, uh, not, it's not it's many, a, It's is it? a number. It's a lot less. We're just holding a Yamaha up behind the camera to see how many amp models it's got. Five. five. It's got five. Chinque. So tons more on the Vox. Um, it has programmable settings, which again, I believe the Yamaha has got as well. Yep. Do you know, it's really weird. I've had this Yamaha for ages and I'm now realizing I don't really no, I, one, what I like about the Yamaha is I just turn around and I go, oh, there's a sound. And then I don't worry about right. fiddling with anything. But anyway, so we've got programmable user settings, which we've, we've actually stored some settings in already. We've got some EQ. We've got two banks of effects, one that does modulation and one that does reverbs and delays. So again, that's very much like the Yamaha. Yamaha. Uh, we have super wide mode. <laughs> what? Super wide mode. Which the Yamaha kind of just has on all the time. It's one right. of those, why would you ever want to switch it off buttons? Okay, yeah. But, it, but you can if you want to. So here's the first feature that has got me sold on the Vox and does annoy me with the Yamaha. Uh-huh. The Vox has Bluetooth. Interesting. So, I can, so if I want to jam along to stuff, I don't have to go and get the cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From my, yeah. Which, <clears throat> of course, on my new iPhone 7, where it doesn't have a headphone socket anymore, you can't even do it. is a massive ball ache. Yeah, in fact, you can't do it. Well, you can, but you've got to get an attachment pack. So I use this little Black Star sort of Bluetooth gadget that you plug into the Yamaha, and then it allows me to stream via Bluetooth. So it is possible with the Yamaha with a little gadget add-on, but this, you don't need it.
This has an app. I'm not a big app user. It has an app. But it has an app, yes. which allows you to do all the sort of deep editing and blah de blah blah um, And then a bit like the Yamaha, it's got a USB output, which you can use to record into. They, this comes with some free software called Jamvox. I forget what software the Yamaha comes with. I think it's a, a light version of Cubase or something. But anyway, so, and finally, finally, it's roughly-ish similar kind of money to the Yamaha. It's a little bit dearer. This is 279 typically. That's probably for the Tartan print on the front. To Without be a doubt. Because yeah. did they get permission from the uh, Chapman family to use the well, Sutherland? That's actually not a Sutherland, Sutherland Tartan. Clan no, Tartan. I can guarantee no? that's not a Sutherland Tartan, no. Um, does it have a little optional sprocket thing that hangs on the front where you keep your powder? What are they called? <laughs> on the front of your kilt? Definitely called a sprocket. <laughs> What's it called? Sporum. <laughs> what? Sporum. I knew it was a spot. Something do you know what the little knife is called? Uh, a knife. Ski and do. Ski and do. Yep. Ski and do. So is there an episode it's because of, Lee's is French. There, is there an episode of Scooby Doo where he meets a man with a ski and do and it goes, Scooby Doo, watch out for the ski and do! In the sporum with the ski and do and the Scooby Doo, have a Scooby snack. Um, <laughs> sporum. Is there an episode? Ruh, ruh, ruh. <laughs> so look. Enough pointless tomfoolery. But that's entirely the point of um, us, Lee. I did, I should also mention as well, one of the things, now cabinetry is hugely important when you're trying to make a small amplifier because, of course, you haven't got a lot of room to, for no. air to move. And, you know, the way in which the, the cabinet is designed and ported, uh, it makes a massive difference to the sound. The Yamaha is very cool. It's like a steel thing. <laughs> Sounds great. Yes, this, has a handle too. Yeah, this doesn't really have a handle. It no. has a sort of a recess Minus on the points. back to pick it up. Uh, anyway, the, the cabinet on this is a injection molded sort of sealed cabinet. So they're, they're basically, the Vox guys are saying that actually quite a lot of time and effort went into designing uh, the cabinet to really maximize all the base but, end and, and all that stuff. And this is plastic though, isn't it? Yep, injection molded plastic. Right, and the Yamaha's metal. It is, possibly, a, if, you know, if you dropped it, possibly gives the Yamaha an edge. Don't drop your guitar amps is the... So let me just have a quick swish down other features. Uh, two, three inch speakers, stereo. Oh, batteries, yep, got batteries. Which, do you, do, you, do you have the batteries in the Yamaha? I've never run it off batteries, yeah, 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 so yeah, I yeah. don't know. Yep, it's yep. got a battery compartment. So you can yeah. batteries. I reckon you get eight hours out of uh, uh, some AA batteries in this. Super lightweight, as they all are, to be fair. Uh, Sorry, a, I'm yawning. It's fine, there's a base. <laughs> there is a base version of this. Which, which uh, I believe Yamaha just have a base setting on the regular THR10, but there's a base version of this that has 17 different base models. Um, what else? Da -da 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 -da. I think all the other stuff I've, I've basically covered. Auxiliary input, a coost stage function, whatever that means. Oh, that's the wide thing. That's the button that you would never switch right. off. Uh, noise reduction circuit for the high gain stuff and a tuner built in. Okay. So to be honest with you, a lot of similar features to the Yamaha. So let's check out the tone. I've preset four tones, like rock, clean, blues, metal, basically just messing around, choosing some sounds that I like. So, um, <coughs> Well, let's Robert. start with, with the first sound. Yeah. I'm using... No pedals. I'm using way. a PRS. Yeah, we just thought we'd get some cheap <laughs> thing out the cupboard to, uh, to play it's, with. Uh, it's a wood library. It's a McCarthy. It's a 594. It, it's, it's a limited, dirty thing. Clean up. It's because we've got a super heavy noise gate on the high gain stuff. So oh, if you back I see. the volume down. I mean, 
it does that sound. It does a sound. It's uh, a bit quiet at the moment for me to really feel the vibe. Uh, well, we've got plenty more volume. Can we make it just we've a little bit louder? We've got 50 watts of, we... of BS volume. Let's do... But uh, <laughs> we can certainly... <laughs> Make a difference in fairness. It yeah, sounds it makes a big difference. Fuller. Yeah, it, does. it is. It is a lot louder than the Yamaha. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that. Uh, I think, I don't think you get the Yamaha. Well, we're to gonna be have this to loud. find out how loud it goes at some point, aren't we? Anyway, let's have a nice spangly clean sound with a little bit of chorus and delay on it that I programmed in earlier. Maybe with your coil. Sounds really nice. Sounds really good. Yeah. Uh, okay, this one I was going to do because this is a sort of a. Uh, you, we've obviously used different amp models for each of these, so ignore where the kind of settings are on the GoPro camera here. Every we aren't using a dual rec for every single one of these. Um, <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> A nice tone. It's, it's a really nice tone. Let's see if it does that kind of because <clears throat> the problem with the really high gain stuff, as as we found out a minute ago, is that the amp adds a really heavy noise gate so that you don't get lots of background hump. But it does mean as you back the volume down on the guitar, the noise gate starts to struggle to hear the difference between what's background noise and what's guitar. Yeah. So it kind of farts a bit. Whereas there shouldn't be a big noise gate on this sound, so I should get. I stay on this for just a second no, because that's fine. there are two things about my Yamaha THR that one annoys me and one I've never really tried. So firstly I've never really tried using pedals with my THR because it's a bit like it's got loads but it's of effects not the kind of built in you would do, so, is it you so why bother. Pick it up and do it, but yeah. I do get tons of, every time I do a little jam in my office on my THR guaranteed somebody posts in the comments section how does it take pedals? And I always answer by going I don't know because why would you put pedals into this? Yeah. But we have got a little Greer light speed on the floor here which is kind of the ideal pedal to make a sound like that more driven so let's see if it sounds any good let's just get the levels about right Difference. 
it's doing what the light speed does, which is just kind of add a little bit of extra. If you sustain like the note and turn it on and off. Uh, Yeah, it has that like yeah. ha that harmonic thing that it just yeah. kind of does. It's pretty subtle, but it, it it does work. I mean, it's not sounding yeah, bad. Yeah, it doesn't. Anything. But I'm just going to say it doesn't do anything like it does through a valve amp. I mean, it's really it does because it's more not in. able to push yeah. a preamp now, section. Here's the thing with my THR10 that does annoy me, and that's that if you use it with a ditto looper or any looper for that matter, yeah. at so you know with a bit of gain on it, what happens is the Yamaha can't cope with the two guitar signals going in simultaneously. No. So you'll have like um, the loop going and it sounds fine. And then you start playing over the top. And as you play over the top, the loop sort of disappears underneath you because the amp can't cope with the, the two things happening simultaneously. It's not like the whole time. It's just when you play notes, it yeah. sort of ducks out. So I just want to, I just want to, I've got a ditto looper on the floor here. So, I, so I'm just going to see what happens if we put a, a little quick, quick loop around it. as it is on yeah, the Yamaha. Right. It's a little bit, still doing it a little yeah. bit, but it's not It's not as bad. I wonder if that's maybe the extra power that it's got or... Potentially the extra 50 BS watts. Possibly, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's not RMS, it's BSS. Yes. <laughs> uh, but it's definitely, mm, that's, that's, uh, that's tickled me now because I'm sort of thinking I do use a looper a lot and it would be nice if the little amp did better. Anyway, it would be nice if they built a looper into it, wouldn't it really? I mean, they, I, that's the kind of thing you'd to expect. To be totally honest with you, that's the other amp that I'm thinking about getting, but it's just maybe a bit too big, but it's the little Fender Mustang GT40, because that, if you buy the pedal with it, has got the looper built in. So that's another contender, albeit it's a bit bigger. Anyway, the final sound that we've programmed in here is, is, a, is like a super high gain. This is the dual rec one, by the way. So uh, here we go. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's Again, more of a lead sound than a. Yeah, well, I dialed type. it in as a lead sound with. Yeah. I, I tell you what's probably doing that on the is there's delay on it, so it's probably not helping. Take the delay off. I don't know if I like that tone more than tones I've had from the Yamaha. The uh, well, that's the dual rec Being one. Being sat on the fence, uh, cop. It was a bit. It was. It wasn't the most convincing, was it? But and that's not the kind of sound that I would buy this for. Well, look. And yet, it is what I would buy it for. That's so there we are. The, the Vox Audio. Do, does it sort of? And so, what's the value? Two seventy nine English. Imperial Credits of the Crown. And what's the, the Yami? Uh, 240 odd, something like that. Right. Um, We're going to have to do a video one day where we shoot them out, aren't we? You know what needs to happen is one of you guys, Yamaha, I don't know, THR10 Mark II. Just saying, maybe it's there. I, don't know. <laughs> I have no official 
you know, confirmation that that's coming, or even a rumor. I've just totally made that up. But needs a looper. Or I don't know, or Vox do some sort of USB pedal or Bluetooth pedal. That's what you need. Bluetooth pedal that plugs into this and um, does a looper. Can you have two Bluetooth things simultaneously? Mm. Can it like Bluetooth music into it and do a Bluetooth mm. speaker thing? You can, but. Mm. Just, it just reminds me of that old Bluetooth uh, Gibson thing. That before. old Bluetooth magic. Do you remember with the... Uh, yeah, the... The, 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 um, the foot control for the robot Firebird? Guitar. Yeah. No, not Firebird. <laughs> the, what was the original? The one with the, the, the one with the, the red finish on it. Yeah. Ugly looking thing. Yeah. The robot. I mean, it had some great sounds. That was, that was when that kind of technology was being pioneered. We're thinking wasn't back four year, four, five years ago. Yeah. We've yeah. been doing this for seven years, you know? Seven years. Yeah. So look, there we go. That's the Vox Audio. I must admit, I am going to phone up the man that runs Vox UK, threaten to publish some images I have of him at the Frankfurt show from 1997. <laughs> if he doesn't send me a free Vox Audio, you know who you are. You're going to have to show and, me these photographs. Uh, and then when I've got a free one of these, I will compare it to the Yamaha THR10 in my office and, and, and okay. conclude. But I'm leaning towards going, I've got to be honest with you, I do think the Yamaha looks nicer, but that's just yeah. You know, it's just, that's just me being. Yeah, me. I think the problem is there are pros and cons on both sides. Really, it's unfair to do a comparison in a review where there's no other amp next to this amp. Yeah, do you know what? In terms of, you probably can't even see this properly. So here comes an image on screen now where the full glory of the screen is taken up with the Vox Adio, because we have used two of the most enormous microphones that we could find to obscure the, to, to mic this up, which has obscured its. Uh, look in shot. And this cabinet, by the way, is, is entirely here. It's fiction. For the purposes of being a table. It, it's a table. Uh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Everything you've heard has come from this. This. And then into this. And then digitally into your into ear. Into your ears. Probably via an iPhone. And probably then you, through and your then iPhone speakers. Chemicals yeah. in your eardrum have, have recreated what, what, you, what it um, means to you. Well, there we go. Look. It's all illusionary. I tell you what is good. I just think it's nice. Uh, really, Yamaha have such a free run at this for the last three or four years because yeah. all the other brands have just gone. Here's a like a, quite a big conventional practice amp, and it's like, oh yeah, but you're missing the point of the the whole stereo is very very cool. So I'm I'm happy that at least there's a choice now because choice yeah. is good. Choice is good. Except when it comes to music stores, where there should only be one choice for you, and that's Andertons.co.uk. If you live in Europe land or anywhere in the world. <laughs> and would like to pay the shipping fee for us to get it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you could buy a t-shirt though, like one of these. I, I, I oh. had one yesterday, but then it got dirty. <laughs> I know, you and dribbled I, down it uh, Yeah, in a fit of excitement. I got sweet chilli sauce down it when um, I was eating the squid. Anyway, I've been Rob uh, Yes, I've been the captain. See you later, guys. Love you guys, bye. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. <laughs>